gaffer. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's, uh, it was a good, fantastic first half. You know, uh, the, the, the four goals. I know Connors was a sort of bit lucky, but the, the build-up, and the goals I thought were, were fantastic. You know, it was it's what we try and work on, all of them. And uh, and the boys started started strong. It was nice to be three 0 up. We we wanted to get that early one. We didn't want another Halifax and you know give uh, the opposition any oxygen by scoring one and making it three one and giving them a chance. And I think they only had one shot in the in the second half. Um, and the lads tried to. A little bit take their foot off the gas because of the game. You know, we'd had a game. We got another game Saturday, and uh, and then the op the opposition had a couple of lads that came on and uh, got in the game a bit. But uh, no, hopefully everybody was entertained, and uh, it, it it just shows you we were ten points away from you know the seventh spot, and now we're eight. And I said we needed to be single figures after uh, with ten games to play. And here we are, you know, so we've just got to keep going and uh, there was a lot of entertaining things in that. Um, so, yeah, great result and I'm pleased for everybody that came today. When you assessed the uh, defeat at Halifax, you said about the first half performance and how pleased you were and how there were so many good things. It doesn't always mean that in the next game you get the desired result, but it looked like your team had a point to prove there. Yeah, we, we, we did. Uh, we did have a point to prove and, you know, we actually worked very hard at uh, Halifax, got done by a, a couple of set plays. First half, we should have been away and gone. We should have been 4-0 up, 3-0 up. It was definitely a penalty, you know, I can say that now. Um, I think I said it then even. <laughs> and I'll say it again and again because it, it was. And it was an important part, time of the game, that penalty would have been. And it, it was only what we'd have deserved. But, but that's gone now and we just said, you know, let's make sure that we put in a performance today because we're expected to win because of the league positions. But you've got, you got to go out and perform. And uh, when everybody sees the goals back... You know, we'll realise what good moves they were, combinations and um, work that we do on the training ground. So uh, that would have picked the lads up uh, for the last you know, ten games. Because so, obviously we we still got we got to give it a go. Now, a lot of football fans will take a win, however they come. But you've always said in the past that your team is in the entertainment business, yeah. and they've certainly entertained the uh, crowd tonight. They didn't just settle for one goal, two goals. They they were looking for goals right up until the yeah. end. Yeah, well, there's not many teams that are outside the Premiership that can do it for 90 minutes. You know what I mean? You know, we haven't got your your world superstars at this level, um, and so you know we have to take what what what, what comes and. Um, and there was enough entertainment in there for everybody to have enjoyed their, you know, their club's performance. And and again, once again, the supporters were, were good. You know, they were. You could see they were enjoying it. We had a little laugh up there with a the geezer. It was the best header I've ever seen at Plainmore. Do you know what I mean? He's uh, and we need someone to uh, cover Danny Wright when he's injured. So as you saw, I tried to sign him up, but he ignored me. <laughs> Obviously, had four goals at one, but they were also equally pleasing. There's another clean sheet at the other end, and there seemed to be a real determination to keep the ball out of the back of that. Yeah, there was. There was a determination because you got to remember a little while ago. It wasn't long that long ago that all the shots were flying, and they had some great wins. They, you know, they was up there. Um, they beat us uh, at all the shots. That was sort of like the end of their good good run, really. <laughs> um, but they've had some good results if you if you look back. So we. They're no mugs, and no one's any mugs. Weymouth ain't going to be no mugs next week um, uh, on Saturday. So hopefully we get the crowd back in and uh, and we can put on another performance for them. But most importantly, if we can pick up another three points, um, then that'll be uh, a fine week, you know, two wins out of, out of the three. So ten games to go, Gaffer. Eight points to the gap to seventh place. But there's no reason if you play like your team plays like that, they should fear anyone in this division. No, well, we, we, we try not to fear anyone in this division, uh, especially now we can't get relegated. <laughs> I don't know whether that's official, but normally when you get um, 50 points, that's, uh, you know, um, and at one point, you know, we was we were sort of looking below us for a little while, you know, when we were 16th and 17th and that sort of stuff. But um, the top boys have all still got each other to play. And so they can't all win. 
And so, you know, we, we, we mustn't let ourselves down by letting ourselves down if the others fail. You know, and, and like look at Boreham Wood, you know, we were miles behind them and they've still got a couple of games there, but they're not winning games at the minute. And so uh, we'll have to wait and see how that, that all pans out. And finally, Gaffer, on a night where uh, we paid tribute to uh, Talk United, uh, one of their legendary figures in Franco Fowl, your team produced a, a performance that was fitting to them. Yeah, nice. Um, you know, we, I always respect managers that have you know, had, had the longevity that, that Frank had. And uh, wherever you go, wherever Frank's been, everybody respects what he's done. And he was a proper football man. I didn't meet him or see him, I know him myself. But everybody you talk to that, that, that knew him um, always said he was a gentleman. And also it was nice to see uh, Bruce Riott here. Um, and he's uh, probably just a little bit older than me now. But I remember he signed my son Lee at Arsenal. Um, when Lee was 14 he signed him on schoolboy forms and promised him an apprenticeship there and uh, I've still got the picture in my football room of me, my wife Karen, Lee and Bruce so he's, uh, he's got a permanent fixture in my, in my football room at home so, uh, and I know he really respected Frank O'Farrell as well so to all his family then uh, you know, commiserations of course but uh, he'll be fondly remembered well, thank you for joining us and congratulations on a fantastic performance from your own side tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you.